Greetings folks and welcome to another video. When I was growing up in the 80s, we all dreamed of having futuristic smartwatches on our wrist. And the closest thing to a smartwatch in those days was this digital Casio. It could tell the time, date, had an alarm, stopwatch and a backlight. And if you wanted to make it really fancy, you could get it in stainless steel too. This was Retro Tech at its finest. And now we're living in that future and we have something on our wrist that packs more punch than computers of generations before. For your consideration, I give you the Apple Watch Series 7 Stainless Steel. For the last three years, I've been using the Apple Watch Series 4, and I've been very happy with it. It's a fantastic watch. I had it in the silver stainless steel, and it's been a trusty companion to me. I've had very few issues with it, and if I'm to be honest with you, it could have probably lasted me another year, easily. However, I felt like it was time to move on, and I was excited about getting the Apple Watch Series 7 as soon as I saw it. Now once again, I've gone for another stainless steel version. As I mentioned in my previous video, I like the stainless steel watches. They just feel more like a watch to me. They're a little bit more classier. And even though they're a little bit more expensive, they add that little extra elegant touch that just makes the watch feel more natural. If you're gonna be wearing this thing every day, then you want it to look great, you want it to feel great, and you want it to be flexible with all the things you wear and all the things you do. This time I went for the graphite stainless steel. Now this is a slightly darker color than any watch I've gone for before. Usually I've been going for the stainless steel silver. But the graphite has been a brilliant color. It pairs really well with all of the existing Apple Watch straps that I have. And I really like the look of this slightly darker color. So let's start at the sole purpose of a watch. And that is to tell you the time accurately and consistently whenever you need to know it. Now that might sound simple, but coming from the Series 4, where the watch display was off most of the time until you raised to wake it, it made it harder to glance at the time, and it made it harder to see the time at certain angles. But now, with the Apple Watch Series 7, with its larger 41 and 45 mm screen, with its slightly curved edges, and always on display, seeing the time from any angle is so much more easier to do. Now the Series 5 and 6 did have the always on displays, however, anything from before the Series 4 didn't, so that extra feature meant a lot to me. And, as I said, that slightly curved screen, believe it or not, does just give you that slight bit of an edge when you're looking at your watch from an angle. My interaction with the Apple Watch starts every single day in the morning when I wake up. I used to be the kind of person that needed multiple alarms dotted around my room just to wake me up, but ever since I started using the Apple Watch, the alarm on the watch and the haptic feedback has been an effective way of waking me up every morning, and I really appreciate that. I'm a terrible sleeper, and having the ability to track my sleep has been a fantastic part of the Apple Watch experience. Using excellent apps like AutoSleep, I just have to go to sleep with the Apple Watch every night and I don't have to set anything off or do anything special. The Apple Watch and AutoSleep does all of the hard work for me. And by the time I wake up in the morning, I have stats, metrics and patterns that will help me improve my approach to my sleep and my sleeping habits in general. To be able to take full advantage of sleep tracking, a strong battery is essential. And in this regard, the Apple Watch Series 7 is satisfactory. I can't say that I've felt that the battery is a lot more better than my Series 4, although I do know that it's a slightly bigger battery. All I can say is that the larger screen and the brighter display is probably taking up a lot of juice, but generally speaking, the Apple Watch Series 7 battery experience is not a bad one. It will get you throughout the day and throughout the night easily, and you'll wake up in the morning with 20 or 15% battery life. Whatever battery life you wake up with in the morning really depends on how you used it the day before. If you don't feel like your battery might make it through the night, in this particular generation, eight minutes of a fast charge will guarantee give you eight hours of battery life throughout the night. So that's perfect for sleep tracking. Using the USB-C cable that was provided with this watch, you now get faster charging. Usually, I'd take my watch off and place it on the charger while I start my daily routine, I brush my teeth, having a shower, picking my clothes for the day, and by the time I come back to my watch, it's fully charged, ready to go. I can confidently say that no possession or piece of technology that I've ever owned before has had such an impact on my health and well-being than the Apple Watch. Every step, every run, every push, every pull, and every sip of water that I take is recorded by this watch, 
and throughout the day, the Apple Watch is constantly monitoring my health and giving me useful prompts and data points that are helping me become fitter and healthier. Apple Fitness, for example, is another fantastic feature that works so well with the Apple Watch. I'm gonna be straight with you. I've lost my way a little bit recently with my health and I've kind of fallen out of shape and I need to get back into shape. So I've been working on a little project where I've only been using technology and gadgets to help me get back into shape. I've found using fantastic programs like Apple Fitness has really helped. And just the ability of your Apple Watch to work with systems like Apple Fitness is a fantastic bonus that you get with this device. Now cellular connectivity is something that's offered in all of the watch models, but comes by default on the stainless steel models. And I think whether or not you need it is down to you and your use cases. For me, I like to go for runs. And when I go for a run, I don't want to be carrying my phone. And having that cellular connectivity on my watch is brilliant. I've taken calls, I've made calls, and for me, the ability to stream my music as well without it being downloaded on my watch is brilliant. Making phone calls on your Apple Watch is something that is pretty cool. It might be a little bit of a faux pas in public, speaking to your wrist, but I must say that I use it quite often. To get the best phone call experience with the Apple Watch, I highly recommend pairing it with some headphones like the AirPods Pro, and you'll find that making phone calls with the Apple Watch is a seamless process and actually quite enjoyable. Another perk of the 7's large screen is that Apple have now been able to include a full QWERTY keyboard. And whether you tap or swipe, writing or applying to messages on the Apple Watch has never been easier, especially with the assistance of the Watch OS's predictive typing helping you along the way. And this all helps improve the credentials of the watch as a handy little communicator when your phone isn't nearby. In fact, every application on the watch has now benefited from the larger screen in real estate, and this all enhances the usefulness of the watch. Information on the screen is now clearer, and there's a lot more space for information to be displayed. Oh, and I have to mention, I'm loving the fact that Watch OS 8 is now giving me multiple timers. You don't know how useful this is until you need them. You cannot underestimate the convenience of Apple Pay, and I often use it in shops and restaurants. I also use it when traveling around London on the London Underground Network. It's a fantastic and easy way of getting through the barriers at train stations. It's brilliant for unlocking my laptop. It's amazing for making online payments. And in this day of wearing face masks where face ID is difficult to use on your phone, it even helps me unlock my phone, which is a brilliant feature. It's a great weight off my mind to know that this Apple Watch is the most durable and rugged yet. And having the IPX6 dust resistance and the 50 meters of water resistance as well has been a brilliant thing. I've been swimming with this watch. I've washed the dishes with this watch and won the bath with the kids. And I've never felt stressed or worried that getting the watch wet or knocking the watch into things is gonna damage it. And not having that worry in your mind makes the whole watch experience a less stressful one. Now, wearable technology is one of the most exciting segments of the tech industry, and we've come a long, long way. Now, if you're looking for the best smartwatch on the market, I can't say they get much better than the Apple Watch. And the Apple Watch Series 7 is a sum of its parts. It takes all the best features of all the previous Apple Watches and builds on it. Now, Apple has a habit of just making small iterations on each generation and slow but steady improvements. And this may frustrate people because they want to see their Apple Watch do something completely brand new and amazing each year. Me, on the other hand, I'm the opposite. I don't want my watch to be completely out of date each year, forcing me to have to buy something new. In fact, I don't like any of my technology to do that. That's not to say that I don't enjoy innovation and I don't enjoy new features. Of course I do, but hear what I'm saying here. Do you really want to spend loads of money on an Apple Watch only to find out that a year later it's completely out of date? The Apple Watch is the leading smartwatch, and it has rocked the actual watch industry itself. Who would have known the breakaway hit it would become? And who would have known that most people nowadays wear smartwatches over any other watch? Me personally, I'm almost addicted to my Apple Watch, and not wearing my watch makes me feel like I'm missing out on something, like tracking my health. Or making sure I've closed all my activity rings. Or competing against friends on exercise challenges. I'm even hooked on trying to earn all of the activity and exercise trophies. It actually feels really great when you unlock one. Now jumping from a Series 4 all the way to the Series 7 has meant that I've benefited from all of the extra features that came between the Series 4 and the Series 7. So anything that you got with the Series 5 and the Series 6 that I was missing out on, like the always-on display, has become an extra feature to me now. What I would recommend is if you've got a Series 5 or Series 6, I don't think you would really be impressed by the Series 7. 
That's not to say that you shouldn't get one. Listen, if you're the kind of person that gets new technology every single year and you can afford to do so comfortably, more power to you. Why not? In a world now where we can resend and recycle our devices and reduce wastage, it's an excellent way of just cycling products and making sure that somebody else has access to your older tech at a price point that suits them. If you've got a Series 1, 2, 3 or 4, I think the jump to the Series 7 is going to be very satisfactory for you. And I think you're really going to feel the improvements. In seven generations, the Apple Watch has come so far. We're now looking at features that we would have never dreamed of only a couple of years ago. And in this iteration, everything that we have here works brilliantly. This is by far the best Apple Watch you can get today. It's stronger, it's more durable, and it will get through most of the tasks that you needed to get through each day, including 10 at a time. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. If you have subscribed, thank you. I really appreciate it. I've had some really good feedback on my previous videos now and uh, I'm starting to feel the momentum. And the journey to 1000 is still a bit of a long one, but I'm confident we'll get there together. So thank you for your support. Please leave some comments and feedback and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See ya. Peace. I represent hip hop, I don't do the commercial gimmicks To so show a little respect to the art form that took us from the street And put us on a platform, giving up voice to the silence, peace to the violence Started and turned to now we even do violence